M0FXB, Hamtech, welcome to my channel. You know me, I just love tinkering with all these different gadgets. Sorry about the glare there that we're getting from somewhere. This is the DigiPi. M0FXB, Hamtech. Welcome to my channel. So what is this, you think to yourself? Well, it's the DigiPi by KM6LYW. Craig, thank you very much for your development. And yes, I've got the, the nice screen on there. You can get the screen for about 22, 22 £23. It's in the description, but you don't actually have to have the screen. You burn an image, there's the SD card there, using Bellina that you get from Craig, and you uh, go to the, uh, the Patreon page, and you can get it there. Put it on. Now, if you've got an older radio, there is a board that, that can be purchased or made. There's a couple of different options. In the USA, though, I'm in the UK. I'm just working out how I can get one in the UK. I'm sure there's a, a way of doing it. You can use, in the UK, one of these AIOC boards. It effectively changes your twin pin connector uh, to USB. You probably use that on, I would say, like, a, what have I got here? A Cushang or a Bofang. But that's, that's for another video. But right now, I want you to see you to see this in action. So definitely check this out. I'm in the early stages of learning this. It takes you, the DigiPi software takes you straight to FTA, FL DigiRig, and, and so many more programs. And you just put it onto a Raspberry Pi and the image, and you can connect to all these different things. So as you can tell, I'm, I'm, I'm just learning it, but, okay, let's just do a quick transmission test here. Just go F, and then let's do it so you can see the screen. And then we'll transmit. And there I am, M0FXB6. And if we look on APRS FI, I should be on there. There you are, APRS FI. The next thing I'd like to know, I mean, look how cool that is. But the next thing I'd like to know is, can I transmit and how? Um, obviously, I know how to transmit on my radio. But you can't transmit APRS on, a, on an icon. You can transmit DPRS, which I think does show up on the system. But... Um, it doesn't. It hasn't got an APRS modem built into it. It's using the D-Star system for that. Another station I watched the video and had an audio board for older radios, and also had Bluetooth on here. If I press the buttons, let's just see what happens. It just it shows my IP address. Yeah, and then it goes back to the beginning. So all learning and having great fun. Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So that. Now, is it repeating? Because I wasn't expecting that, because I haven't just transmitted. Oh, that's interesting. So is it repeating? I mean, it's quite a strong signal. Where did that signal come from? Let's go to my list. So you go F menu, list. Yeah, it's, that came from me. I'm not really sure what happened then, to be honest. Let's push that button again. Remember I was pressing buttons. When it reboots, maybe it transmits briefly. So everything's coming through. Press again. Goes back to APRS Digital. Oh my God, it did. It TX, it actually did TX, look. That's excellent. So it is transmitting. How cool is that? I still don't know why. <laughs> Let's press this one. Uh, We just wait. So, no. The, I'm guessing there's settings in there where you can tell it how often it will transmit. Now let's press this one like we did last time. There you go. I don't know whether it's doing it on reboot, but when I press that button, 
we're getting a transmission of, AP, of um, APRS. How cool is that? I just don't know how to set any messages and things, but that's, I know there's a web chat selection, I'll show you. So sorry, I'm just filming the screen. So the way DigiPi works, once you've got it all set up, and there's an excellent website for this. I've got so many links here. So check out this website. You just download the image onto an SD card and away you go. The screens are £22 on Amazon. I'll put a link in. So we're all connected and what you do is you select what you want to use, okay? So by default, I think, I'm sure it came on with the eye gate straight away, TNC and APRS eye gate and on. You see the green light there and you press, did I press anything? I don't think I pressed anything, but anyway, there's a web chat here. So let's do web chat, okay? And it opens up and you could be choosing FT8, yeah? It starts to load everything up. I just realized I need to press APRS web chat here, turn it on. Okay, so we've just done that. The screen on the device normally tells you when you're changing stuff. So they're both on. Let's just do web chat. We might have to turn one off, see what happens. Oh no, it's come on. So let's just do, send it to myself. Okay, so I've selected Y1, Y2, M0 FXB, Hi DigiPi Test, Send. <coughs> Oh my God, how good is that? Came straight through. Now I'm going to send it again and I'm just going to film the radio this time. I actually can reply. So let's do that. I know I'm getting a bit excited about this, but it's so good. So new message, we're going to put um, Hamtech. Hamtech YouTube. Please check out my YouTube channel. Right, Hamtech YouTube. We're going to send. I'll show you the settings. Now remember, we are actually receiving RF to the 705. The FT5 is getting it from, yeah, from I would say from the 705, because that's the RF going from radio to there. So let's just quickly send. It's so, it's instant. So, uh, that, what was that? that? Was that an automatic send on my part? Let's do this again. Now look at the message. So I'll go F, let's see if we can see messages. Message list. And then we'll just look at it. Hi, we want ham tech, don't we? Where's that one gone? How do we scroll? Okay, you just scroll by turning the, the top knob. Let's do a reply. And what do we do? Edit. So we just go. We've just replied to ourselves, I think. And that reply will just be the same. So, yeah, excellente. And then looking on here. I can actually message these people, couldn't I? Let me try that. We'll try G4TAH-1. Okay, so we got the message in there. Hamtech YouTube. We're going to go send. And we'll send our position as well. Oh, it's actually the wrong, it's actually the wrong position. So we need to set our position correctly in, in the software. That's my, I must have done something wrong there. But we did send that message to G4TAH. And usually they are set up to reply automatically. Let's just go back to my messages. No reply seen there. Go back. It's still fun, is it? Come on, enjoy yourself. So, thanks for watching so far. You know, I'm just at the very early stages here. I'll, I'll quickly show you how it switches to FTA. I might as well. So, all you do on the software, and I look at the screen now, what it says it says DigiPi TNC. And then we'll go, we'll turn them off, turn them both off. Then we're going to click. Where is it? WSJTX on. And then the screen will change. So it, see the way it changes the screen? If we look here, we've got these HTTP links. Just click one, like so. And if it's correctly configured, we'll be straight on to FT8. And let's choose our, it's, it's, it's kept us on there, but let's just go to 
40 meters. Did you hear the rig there? I'll just show you. So remember, DigiPi is doing this for us. So let's just switch across. We're changing bands. We'll go, so we'll put it into TX. Let me just get my um, HF antenna on there. So I just enable TX, like so. And remember, you can access all the other programs from DigiPi as well. So there you are, it's gone into TX. As you can see. Need to charge my battery up, don't I? So if you select the larger screen, you get the larger screen, but what you can do, I'm sorry, I'm just filming. I'll do, I'll do a better video. You can just go to the three dots here and just do the plus, look. If you know, if you want the screen to be bigger. You can see it's working well. We just need, you know, to contact someone. Let's just hold that a minute. And so if we went back to DigiPi here and turn that off and then selected FL Digi and then hit, give it a minute, the screen changes here. And then hit FL Digi. So you're getting the idea of how this all works now. And it, you know, there's FL Digi, which I've never used to be honest. And look, if I look at my Wi-Fi here, look, this is something else I need to learn about. Someone tell me. It actually shows up uh, a selection called DigiPi. Anyway, lots more videos to follow. Bye for now, 7-3.